All right, guys. What we're gonna do today? We caught some uh, big bluefish the other day. You know, most people's bluefish is not on one of their uh, their favorite favorite uh, table species. That's for sure. Not a lot of people enjoy bluefish. I mean, I we grew up on them. My dad's a farmer. Uh, you know, if he caught bluefish, that's all he ate. It wasn't uh, there. Was, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you wanted dinner, you ate it. So, but I guess these days we're spoiled. Bluefish gets a little bit of a bad rep. We didn't know any better. What, did, what the heck did we know? I'm just, you know. So, that these days, nothing goes to waste. I'm actually going to uh, trim it up. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to smoke it. Make a good smoked fish dip. You know, they use king mackerel down south a lot. You know, I think these bluefish are, uh, you know, the key with bluefish, bloodline. Get all that bloodline out. You don't want any bloodline. That's what give you that that strong taste um, you know it all has to come out and uh, it goes into a salt salt and sugar brine overnight and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna smoke it up heavy put a real good smoke into it cut it down nice and thin so the pieces get a real good smoky flavor to it and uh, let it let it dry out get get almost you know real crusty real skin on it but so we're just gonna trim just get your knife, real you know, sharp knife. I use my Acu Sharp, get a nice set edge on it, and then just take all that dark meat off of there. As much as you can get out. That'll keep it from being too, uh, you know, real fishy taste to it. Uh, even with fish dip, my kids aren't real big on it. Uh, but it comes out really good. You know, we'll do the recipe on the fish dip. But like I said, take as much of this dark meat out as you can get. You just want the lighter colored meat, get the dark dark spots out because that's where your you know fishy flavor and that bloodline is going to be in that bloodline. So just push your knife up under it. Uh, this, the brine will help firm it up a little bit and then we're going to cut it into like I said small pieces. We'll come off of here we'll make I like to hang it. And see, a little bit more dark meat on there. Want all that out. And then uh, we're going to make up a brine. We're going to do a sugar and a salt brine on it. Um, get this in the two pieces. Uh, I don't. I will only use fresh bluefish. I won't. Uh, I won't use anything frozen. So even even for smoking and stuff, I only want to use it fresh. I don't want to use it like that. Alright again. Right here. See if you guys can see. Just getting right underneath all that dark meat. We had, I mean we had, I guess trolling. We had, I had to, in two days of worth of trolling for bluefish, or for stripers, we had to have 30, 30 bluefish. I mean, we kept two. I mean, they were, and they're all big. I mean, we had some that were close to 20 pounds. You know, they were 15 to 20 pound or more bluefish. Monsters. So. Alright, like I said, we're just, again, taking all the dark meat. All of it. Now, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but you really don't want a mouthful even smoked of uh, dark meat. A little bit on there, that's, you know, that's one thing. But a big old chunk of bloodline, definitely not something somebody wants to eat, you know. I mean, I, I love smoking fish. You know, bluefish has a you know a lot of oil in it, so it gives it a, a good smoky uh, flavor to it. You know, people eat smoked mackerel, bluefish, same, along the same lines. You know, not a, not maybe not a, even as uh, as strong as mackerel, but smoked bluefish is really good. And then again, we're cutting like on a bias so that everything can be like a flat piece so everything's even, cooks evenly. You know, once you want to cut as thin as possible, as much surface area as possible. Again, nice and down. Alright, so that's trimming and cleaning. I'll uh, come back in a little bit and we'll put our brine together. 
we do a, uh, a salt and sugar brine uh, on them. It'll brine overnight and we'll get them in the smoker tomorrow. Right, I got four ounces of salt. This is a coarse salt. It's a little bit of a mixture. Sometimes I use just plain kosher salt or uh, you know heavy granulated salt. But this one, I'm just, it's four ounces. Um, you know, of, of salt. I don't like using iodized, don't, you know, in smoking, don't use iodized salt. It can give it a little bit of a, you know, metallic. You wanna use kosher salt or, you know, sea salt's a little expensive to be using for, uh, you know, for brines, but it's kosher salt. So that's four ounces of salt, some herbs in there. And then uh, I use sugar. So that's about a half a cup of salt. And then we use a quarter cup of sugar. It's two to one, salt to sugar. And then in this pot that I use, I fill it up halfway, put the fish in, just make sure that the fish are cold. Water. You want it cold. And then your fish is gonna brine for uh, 20, you know, I'll do it tomorrow morning. I'll get up and we'll put this, the, you know, into the smoke. Just like I said, take as much dark meat as, out of it as you can. You know, right into the brine, let it soak. You know, especially bluefish, I'm gonna soak it for at least close to 24 hours. You know, it's tomorrow morning, it'll be, you know 20 hours 18 hours whatever so but you want to make sure your fish is covered uh, with water cold water salt and sugar that's it for your brine that's that's all we do and uh, you know get it get it out tomorrow and then I'll let it sit for an hour a little bit of air dry so but here it is just covered with water and uh, ready to go it'll be going in the refrigerator overnight it'll sit there and uh, This product is doing pretty good in there. We got blue fish is going good. Took out a rack already. Got good smoke going. So we're going to pull the plug and let it dry out a little tonight. Here's a finished product. Our smoked bluefish. Let's see. Real good smoke on it. Put uh, like four loads of hickory smoke through it. <clears throat> Came out really, really nice. You know, taste doesn't taste like no bluefish I've ever had. So, you know, put a nice smoking in it. It'd be good for dips. Gnawing on it like jerky. You know, it's all, uh, all in the way you uh, prepare it. Take all the dark meat out. I brined it extra long for about 30 hours in a salt and sugar brine. So it's got a sweet, sweet flavor to it almost so uh, came out really nice so we're going to be making some dips out of it soon so we will uh, move on with them